You're watching Stimulated Sessions. My name is Maggie and I'm here with the amazing Alpha Mama. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. That's good. So you just released your video, Spit Me Out. Mm -hmm. That was absolutely amazing. Thank you. The thing that I liked about you was that you kind of incorporate music and you incorporate the arts together as well, which I think we don't do that much here. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that kind of came about. I think for me, I don't necessarily separate music and art. I mm -hmm. feel like music for me is just an extension yes. of you know, of art mm -hmm. and like even with fashion, you know, yeah. I feel like everything I do should have an aesthetic mm -hmm. um, message mm -hmm. and so for me, videos are fun because it, for me they're just as fun as creating the yeah. music. It's like, okay, how can I portray this idea mm -hmm. in a visual way? It's just a different medium. So yeah, just brainstorming and then seeing in how many different ways can you communicate the same underlying message and then that was the, the way that I felt was going to most accurately depict the message of the song but mm -hmm. then also be engaging as well yeah that's awesome because yeah. i saw you or first time i saw you obviously was at your launch and i think when i saw obviously the contemporary dances and then i saw you doing the whole clothing thing it actually reminds me a little bit of yoko ono right right is that where you kind of got your inspiration from or um i'll be completely honest with you i'm not really familiar with a lot of yoko's okay. work uh -huh. but um in terms of her philosophy mm -hmm. and as an artist she's she someone who's really really paved the way for mm -hmm. um, for artists, yeah. performance artists mm -hmm. and the like. Um, mm -hmm. And I think anyone who's brave enough to defy the norms, mm -hmm. I really respect that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm always interested in basically different ways of engaging people mm -hmm. and they have to do things that they haven't seen before, they haven't yes. heard before, they haven't experienced before and that's what I like to bring to a live yeah. show because I don't think it's just about the music. No. You can really do anything mm -hmm. musically but if it doesn't engage people then mm -hmm. there's no point. So. Yeah, 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 definitely. I guess it's the same with hip-hop, right? So they say there's four elements and there's breakdancing, graffiti, rapping and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. I think a lot of people are probably just too um, focused on like the, the self. Mm -hmm. For me it's I often find that my art is not for me. Mm -hmm. Sure, I'm expressing myself, I'm telling a story, it might mm -hmm. be my story, it might not be my story, but mm -hmm. for me I'm always looking at, well how is it going to make this person feel? Yes. What can they contribute to it? Mm -hmm. And what's their feeling going to be when they see, you know, if I strip off in mm -hmm. the middle of a song, or yeah. if I do a spoken word piece, or if I have contemporary dances, how is it going to make them feel? Mm -hmm. And that's the question that I always ask myself. That's good, yeah. that's really cool. And you also have a project called God Queen, can yeah. you tell us a bit about that? So God Queen was born uh, like the end of last year. Mm -hmm. um, I am so passionate about community and particularly mm -hmm. women as well. I'm really passionate about my friends who yes. make amazing art. Sure. And I think in Australia we have such a small industry and mm -hmm. often we're competitive because there's not enough spots mm -hmm. for artists. Mm -hmm. So for me, like I'm always thinking, shit, this person is amazing. I wish that I could get them seen by more people. And yeah. so the idea initially was just going to be a collective of artists whose music I love, mm -hmm. women artists, mm -hmm. um, and just releasing things together so that we could support each other. But it mm -hmm. just grew and grew and grew. And now it's basically a collective of women who use art, communication, maybe they're entrepreneurs, maybe mm -hmm. they're social workers, mm -hmm. healers, whatever they are. It's a little bit new age as well in some mm -hmm. ways, but it's basically pushing for empowerment of women mm -hmm. in any industry, yeah. um, empowering them, upskilling them, and sharing that's resources. Awesome. Yeah, 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 definitely. That's in a nutshell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. great though, because for me as a, I mean, a female in the music industry, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you'd kind of get that as well, I think we're subjected to so much more than what it would be if we were male. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, I think men also have their struggles, mm -hmm. of course, and mm -hmm. patriarchy, like this is getting into feminism territory yeah, yeah. now, uh -huh. but um, patriarchy isn't just um, oppressive to women, it's mm -hmm. oppressive to men as well, mm -hmm. and the fact that they have a certain stereotype that they have to adhere sure. to because yeah, that's yeah. what society expects, mm -hmm. and so I really feel like as much as we have come a long way, mm -hmm. um, there's still inequality, mm -hmm. and it's not about making everyone the same. Mm -hmm. It's about understanding, yeah, we are different, mm -hmm. but we should have the right to choose our mm -hmm. own, you know, our own things that, you know, we want to do. Yeah. And at the moment, we still don't have an equal choice, mm -hmm. especially as women, which you probably know, yeah, we have yeah. to fight a little bit harder. Sure. We have to scream a little bit louder. Mm -hmm. We have to, you know, look at other angles. There's not as many places for mm -hmm. women. And even if you look at the statistics of radio festivals, mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. um, the male figures are mm -hmm. more dominant than um, yeah, yeah. The female figures are. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So how do you find it, obviously, as a musician here in Sydney? Um, I've got to be honest, I think that I've been extremely lucky and mm -hmm. privileged mm -hmm. um, so far in my music career. Mm -hmm. I've always found it um, 
relatively easy to get work. Mm -hmm. um, I am very lucky and blessed to be able to only do music for mm -hmm. a living and I don't mm -hmm. have to supplement with another job mm -hmm. or um, you know benefits from the government yes. or anything like that. But mm -hmm. I worked hard to get myself to that yeah, yeah. place. Mm -hmm. And I think for me it's lucky because one, I, by nature, I'm quite an aggressive person. I'm a very mm -hmm. forward, yes. um, and I feel that I'm a very good communicator. Uh -huh. And so these things that I have um, have probably helped me to, you know, even Perfect. out the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, But a lot of people that I work with, especially musicians, uh -huh. are male. You mm -hmm. know, so I know that there is still an equality there. Yeah. And for me, that's why I wanted to share the things that I have with mm -hmm. other women and say, cool, well, this is how you go about doing it. Mm -hmm. And um, I've brought a lot of female musicians into the scene and oh, I've mentored. Good. I mean, mentored is a very, um, you know, like a loose <laughs> term. You know, like yeah. Basically just sharing everything that I have and for saying, sure. well, this is what I did. Just your just, advice of yeah, what you look exactly. like. Right. And just mm. giving very generously all the things that I've learned. And mm. then it doesn't have to be the same for them. You know, they might come across other things. But for me, mm. I've always made it a point yeah. to try as much as I can and mm -hmm. hold spots for women artists um, yeah. and hold those doors open. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. Thanks. And so you were also <laughs> talking about Soul Fest earlier. Yes. I mean, what are your thoughts? And obviously they bring, they do honestly do bring a lot of international artists out there. Yeah, I mean, I... I really, of course, like I'm in the soul music scene mm. and I love and respect it. Mm. And for me, Soul Fest is such a breakthrough mm. festival. Because for so many years, we couldn't even we justify couldn't. having yeah. a Soul Festival. I mean, to have Delangelo come to Australia exactly. either. Yeah. It's a huge thing. Mm. So I, I really respect the promoters for the idea and for mm -hmm. following through. Mm -hmm. um, but what I guess for me is a little bit of an out point is I know last I wasn't here last year I was traveling yeah, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and I saw through social media there was a lot more inclusion of our local mm -hmm. artists here and I really yeah. respected that mm -hmm. um, and this year I think there's only maybe two or three mm -hmm. Sydney artists on the Soul mm -hmm. Fest bill yes which I think is a real shame because yeah. I I think our talent here is phenomenal mm -hmm. and I've been around the world now so mm -hmm. I know it's industry standard yeah, yeah so I think you know if you are going to be a promoter in the soul hip-hop industry then I think you also have a responsibility to build your local scene mm -hmm. and if you're bringing out an artist like a profile artist then there is an opportunity for you to expose these people mm -hmm. to your local talent mm -hmm. if you're not taking that opportunity I think that's a real shame and yeah. I think it's it's negligent to do that mm -hmm. so I probably will cop a lot of flack for saying yeah. that no <laughs> I mean I it's, it, it is completely true because when you do bring all these international artists it is also important to support the local artists as absolutely, well absolutely because yeah. you know these huge international stars are coming mm -hmm. to Australia mm -hmm. and what's the benefit for them yeah. really like they already make money worldwide mm -hmm. so the benefit really is for us right yeah. so how is it benefiting us mm -hmm. then is it just benefiting that promoter because they've yeah. made money or is mm -hmm. it also filtering down to mm -hmm. the local scene the musicians mm -hmm. the artists you know mm -hmm. the people who are actually on the ground yeah. doing the gigs writing mm -hmm. the music here so I just think there has to be more integration definitely and I'm sure they would actually be happy to know that there are local musicians that are that are inspired by them absolutely mm -hmm. um, I know like when Jill Scott was here a couple of years mm -hmm. ago she saw she came to the Ginger's Jam mm -hmm. I wasn't here I heard this oh yeah I, I did hear that she did come yeah, 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 yeah so she went down to the Ginger's Jam and um, it was the Monday Jam they're gonna kill me because I said the Ginger's Jam it's the Monday <laughs> Jam um, and she saw a really good friend of mine Billy yeah. McCarthy perform oh she yeah she's impressed. amazing yeah, yeah, yeah she's amazing. amazing yeah yeah and that's the thing like when I see these festivals I'm like oh my yeah. god like Billy yeah. Milan Tandy yeah yeah um, they should all be uh -huh. on that stage Definitely. and they would impress people but sure. they just don't have the same support yeah. behind them yeah yeah it's a shame yeah, yeah. definitely because I was talking to Bilal and he was talking about hiatus Cody yeah and he was just like you know that's the music that I want to do yeah and it was crazy to kind of hear that because that's that is our kind of local scene and I feel like they blew up overseas but we didn't hear so much of it here yeah but to hear other international artists speak so highly of them well that's the it could thing. be this it could work you know it's like kind of like a cross-section we could both work yeah. together to build Absolutely. up a stronger relationship that's the mm -hmm. thing I think there was a blog post by Questlove recently mm -hmm. and he was saying that oh, some yeah, of his most inspirational yeah, artists at the moment are Australian Australia. yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. it's a shame that Australia has the tendency to do this in mm -hmm. other industries as well science mm -hmm. and in whatever it may be yeah where we have immense talent but mm -hmm. we don't invest in it and then yeah. these artists get discovered overseas and then yeah. once they blow up blow up exactly. overseas all of a sudden we're like yeah. oh they're Australian definitely they're Australian. Yeah, yeah and yeah. it's a shame you know that we have to be told what's good and we can't mm. decide for ourselves yeah I think that's the glitch in the system at the moment yeah but hopefully it kind of gets better I really think that um, 
it is getting better yeah, slowly. It is. And uh-huh. especially now that we've got all this digital means of communicating, yeah. so we can have access to so much information. Mm-hmm. But what I'd really love is for people to uni- unify more. Yeah, yeah. Come together and say, Definitely. cool, well, I'm not going to put my gig on the same night as yours because mm-hmm. I want people to come to yours and mine. And can yeah. I share, you know, with my fan base mm-hmm. your gig? And can Definitely. you share with your fan base sure. and more yeah. unity? Because I think mm-hmm. there's enough to go around. Yeah, definitely. You just got to help each other. Make it, yeah, make it work. Yeah. So are you working on any new projects at the moment? Um, I mean, a lot of my attention right now is on God Queen. Mm-hmm. Um, I've just created a music entrepreneur program. So okay. basically that's one way, because I think at the moment, like, I mean, I consider myself um, quite politically informed mm-hmm. and hope to be more so. And I think mm-hmm. a lot of artists at the moment really disagree with what's happening in the world, yeah, you know, the sure. refugee crisis, mm-hmm. etc. Mm-hmm. But we can't put our attention on these social issues because we're so concerned about making yeah, yeah. money in our careers. Yeah. So, f- so for me, my idea was, okay, well, I'm going to sort it out for you. Mm-hmm. So I'll show you how you can basically yeah, live yeah. from your music and yeah. from your art Definitely. so that you have more time to devote to yeah. social issues. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of what I'm working on project-wise. But that's awesome. musically, um, I've got another couple of clips coming out awesome. soon. Mm-hmm. Um, and just, I just want to collaborate with more people. Yeah? yeah? Who would you like to collaborate? If you could collaborate with anybody. Damn, that's a really, <laughs> that's a really hard question. Yeah. For me, I don't really discriminate. Like, mm-hmm. anyone who's got a good vibe, mm-hmm. I'll happily work with yeah um but i guess i would i mean for me it's my ultimate dream of creating a sort of like public enemy type wu-tang oh, clan awesome. female posse yeah, yeah, yeah. you know where we're very politically yeah. focused uh-huh. and we're just all talented and support yeah. each other and have this crazy mm-hmm. um vibe on stage like, yeah. and that's my dream yeah. have you heard of little sims no she's kind of been doing a few things at the moment cool. yeah you gotta check her out, check her out. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well thank you so much for popping through for we look me. forward to everything you've got going on i think it's awesome thank you the whole god queen thing i think we obviously need to support you know support each other more and the same thing with the scene that we have as well definitely thanks yeah, so much you're welcome you're watching similar sessions and my name's maggie